Welcome back to She Living. I am your host, Angela. And today I am back with another stimulus check update. President Biden, he is not focused on what's going on with this impeachment trial. One, he can't be focused on what's going on with this impeachment trial. He has to be focused on the promises that he made on this campaign trail. He supports the Democrats. He understands what they have to do. And they're doing what they have to do because of what happened on January the 6th. Somebody has to be accountable for that. Somebody has to pay the price. For what happened, the laws lie, the life, the lives that was lost. I'm sorry. And somebody has to be accountable again. So he cannot focus. The first 100 days of the Biden administration is critical. Listen, we got to get this COVID relief bill passed. We got to get these 100 vaccines into the American people. We have to get this economy back to some type of stability. I think it was Richard Neal, chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee. He said, this is not stimulus. This is stability. We got to get the economy back to a stable ground. It's not stimulus. You're not just stimulating us. You, we're trying to get some type of stability as to everything that was lost. The lives that were lost. The jobs that was lost. The, the economy that was lost. So many things that the American people lost because of COVID-19. The Biden administration cannot be focused on what's going on. This impeachment trial does have to take place, but this is not where his focus is. It is on the American people. Biden administration understands the first 100 days are critical. Get focus on it. So, the House Ways and Means Committee, like I just named, Richard, uh, the Chairman Richard Neal, presented this portion of developing coronavirus virus relief package proposal based on President Biden's American Release Plan, Re Rescue Plan. It includes providing up to 3600 per child for American families for the 2020 year. People often say, and I'm, I'm going to keep saying this, people often say stimulus, but this is about stability. Stimulus? Stability. Chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee at a joint press conference with Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker. The proposal that Neil is spearheading would give American families an enhanced child tax credit of $3,000 per child, 17 and younger, and $3,600 per child under the age of 6 for 2020, uh, the 2020 year. Starting in July, half the amount will be sent to families as monthly direct payments of two fifty and three fifty. I mean, two fifty and three hundred through December. Let me tell you, people could use this money. People could use this money. Think about struggling single moms that just work at like a retail store that the hours been cut and they could use this money to have two or three small children or marry a young married couple that has two or three little children they could use this extra stability payment a month two thousand two two fifty 250 or 300 it could be used because of our wages lost I was lost, job lost. And even now, you have to go through so much for unemployment. It is ridiculous. And we understand that fraud is going on. And we understand that people are going on. But people shouldn't have to go through hurdles and hoops because of money that they've worked for. Money that they worked with their employer and their employer paid in for. This is money that they've worked for. 
at least let them get the money that they've worked for. Okay, I'm on to something else. But back to this child tax credit. So if your child is 17 and younger, you can qualify for 3000 a month. If your child is six and younger, you qualify for $3,600 a month with some monthly direct payments from $250 to $300. Okay, the other half, the other half families would claim on their 2021. Okay, this is what it's saying. Starting in July, half the amount would be sent to families. As monthly direct payments, two fifty and three hundred, respect uh, respectively through December. The other half families would claim on their twenty twenty one income tax because you know you get earned income credit tax. You you can claim that and you can claim child tax credit. So what they're saying, you can uh. Another whatever's left from that two fifty or three hundred, if you get that, the rest you can claim on your income tax. It will see the child tax credit expanded to lower income families, like the, I just said. You got some single moms that are just working retail jobs or restaurant jobs or even factory jobs, and their <clears throat> and their hours got cut. Most, uh, young married couples. Married couples in general, and they lost their jobs, and now they're in a lower income bracket. They can claim this child tax credit, and uh, it's, it's, it has been expanded. It will see the child tax credit expanded to lower income families that are currently ineligible for the credit due to work requirements. Work requirements, you know, lost, you know, lost hours, you know, lost wages. A lot of, a lot of jobs tell you, we'll call you when we, we'll call you if we need you. Those are the things that will fall under the lower income. Those are the things that will fall under credit due to work requirements or with different work situations and earning in an earning floor of 2,500. So that is where we are right now. And I'm going to start breaking breaking up. I'm going to start breaking up like what is all supposed to be. And I broke so I broke it up a little bit uh yesterday in my in my video with the um rent extension and the extending of unemployment but i'm gonna do more research and break down really what's in uh all in this bill and um kind of share share that with you all but right now i want to read a couple of comments from uh from my last video and i want to discuss those um okay mama dale from Piccadilly says hey love hopefully it will come to pass and everyone gets in pay increase but i think about everything will increase well mama dale you are exactly right but things are increasing right now because of people just grasping for everything people are just trying to hold on uh sanitizes through the roof uh, bleach, uh, Clorox wise, paper towel, tissue, all these things, the prices have increased already. So, you know, the cost of living is going to go up if they increase the monthly payments or start giving, uh, the American people a continual monthly payment or increase the minimum wage. We understand that the cost of living is going to go up because now, because now they feel like people have more money. Okay, positive energy only ASMR says that amount is low right now. There are many families making uh, over 40000 a year and they still struggling. And that is so true because just because you feel like I'm making 
$40,000. That don't mean that I don't have a lot of debt. That don't mean I have, I don't have bills. That don't mean that, uh, just because I make $40,000, I might don't stay in something that's $500 a month. I might have to stay in something that's $1,500 a month. And I agree with that. It doesn't matter if your income is $40,000 a month of $140 a month. We all been impacted in some type of way with this pandemic. So don't forget to comment and let me know what you think. And I will just might read your comment and discuss it. I will see you in the next video. Have a good day.